Here they come, turning down, and the post parade now begins. and 13th in the field. Number 12, Bucks did. Donald McBeth aboard. And 13th and last will be Kin Run of the V9 Stable, written today by Larry Adams. Those horses are continuing to move into the gate now. Some of the outside horses. Here's Silver Florin, the supplemental entry in the race, and he's moving into the gate now. Hudson County's in. Here's Neapolitan Way. The outside horses now heir to the line is coming up to the gate and he goes in without any problem and we're ready to go here's destroyer moving in on the outside he's in and they're all in for the race they're at the post standing in good order no trouble in the gate and they're up for the lead jolly joe who on the inside losing of the rider is bucks bid leaving the gate Jolly Johu, Silver Florin on the outside, coming on Hudson County and Destroyer on the outside. They're coming by us for the first time, and Destroyer's on the outside, leading a half length. Hudson County has the rail in second, Silver Florin a close third. Then a length and a half back on the inside, Jolly Johu. Up on the outside is Aaron to the line, followed by J.R.'s pet. Then it's Cannonade and Rube the Great right together. Another two lengths back, it's all game. Then Neapolitan Way, Ken Run. The final horse is Little Current, and of course there is a loose horse out there. Bucks bid without a rider, he's the final horse. They're moving to the back stretch. On the inside, it is Destroyer. On the outside, it's Silver Florin driving the challenge for the lead. Now moving along the inside, Jolly Joe, who also has made a move to challenge. Heir to the line is holding on and forth right behind those three, and they're together now. Beginning to move up, J.R. Pet along the rail also, and moving is Hudson County. Now Hudson County moves up to take over for it. J.R. Pet is fifth on the outside. Cannonade is behind three horses, and he's obviously waiting for room. Rube the Great is right back of him, and he's also made it ready to make a run now. They're on the turn. Jolly Joe, who by a head destroyer, is second by a half a length. On the outside, here comes Aaron to the line, and he's driving for the lead, and he's getting it. J.R. Set is trying to get through on the rail, and Cannonade is now bound to the outside, and Cannonade is making a run at the lead, too. They're at the head of the stretch. Aaron to the line is the leader as they come to the head of the stretch by two lengths. Cannonade is on the outside, beginning to come on. Then along the inside, Little Curran is finding some movement also coming on. Tight quarters on the rail, however. They're nearing the finish. On the outside, Aaron to the line is Cannonade, but Little Curran is getting through, and here he comes. They're coming to the finish, and Little Curran is taking over as they come to the wire. He's drawing away. Little Curran is going to be an impressive winner. He's winning it off by himself, making it seven lengths at the finish. Neapolitan way a surprising second. Cannonade is third. On the inside, Jolly Joe, who held on to fourth. Ken Run fifth, and J.R. Smith finished sixth. And there was a surprise, but a very, very good ride by Miguel Rivera. Miguel Rivera on Little Current made his winning move getting through. You'll see as we get back to the replay, here he is going out around the turn right now. He won this race very impressively. He got through along the inside. At this point in the race, he had the rail, had gotten through, and from this point on just continued to open up lengths as they came to the wire. 
Little Current, owned by Darby Dan Farm. And a very big win for them. They've won the Derby. Now they've won the Prix. Coming to the wire, no whip, just hand urging. And Little Current is going away to be a very strong leader at the finish line. As they hit the wire, I made the margin approximately seven lengths. And that's pretty close. The time of this race, a very good time. The race went in 154 and three-fifths, just three-fifths over the record. Little Current in the 1974 Belmont Stakes. And they're off. On the outside, uh, Rube the Great goes for the lead. Jolly Joe, who rushing up on the rail and now getting to the front with shady character between horses second, bold and fancy third. On the outside, Hudson County, followed by Rube the Great, those five across the track. Cannonade is in sixth position. C. Songster is seventh. Little Current is eighth. And Ken Run on the outside, ninth, as they round the clubhouse turn. It's Jolly Joho in front by a head. With shady character on the outside, those two now stride for stride. A gap of a length and three quarters. Hudson County moves into the third spot by a head. With bold and fancy fourth. Cannonade on the outside is fifth. Rube the Great sixth the length. C. Songster seventh. Eight lengths farther back, it's a little current. And Ken Run is ninth. On to the back stretch as a shady character takes the lead by a head. And there goes Cannonade on the outside. Jolly Joe, who is third, right there on the rail, now regaining the second spot. Cannonade third by a length and a half. C. Songster fourth. It's Hudson County in the fifth spot by two. Bold and Fancy next, followed by Rube the Great. A gap of nine lengths to Little Current, and Ken Run is ninth. They continue down the back stretch. Jolly Joe, who on the inside, in front by a head. Shady Character on the outside. A gap of a length and a quarter, and Cannonade is now third by three parts of a length. C. Songster fourth, Hudson County fifth, Rube the Great is next, around the far turn they go. It's Jolly Joe with Ben Feliciano on the rail in front by a head. On the outside now, Cannonade with Velazquez moving to challenge. Shady Character is third a length and a half. C. Songster fourth, Rube the Great gaining ground on the inside fifth, Hudson County sixth, and Little Current is seventh. Gap of five to Ken Run and Bold and Fancy. Coming now to the quarter pole, on the inside, Jolly Joe, who holding on. Cannonade challenges from the outside, a quarter of a mile to the finish. Cannonade gets the lead by a head. Jolly Joe, who's second, and that's Little Current on the outside, closing strongly now third. Miguel Rivera in the saddle, bringing Little Current to the front, taking command by two lengths. Cannonade second, Jolly Joe, who third, Rube the Great, and Ken Run. Past the 16th pole, Little Current drawing away in front. Assistant starter put it back in place, and we're ready to go again. And they're off. From between horses, Chris Everett going for the lead. Holding pattern along the inside is next. Accipiter on the rail. TV newscaster is fourth. Up on the outside, Menno Cow. Passing the stands for the first time. Chris Everett has the lead as TV newscaster between horses moves up to challenge. On the outside, Menno Cal is third. Holding pattern, fourth on the rail. Accipiter is fifth. Golden Mur on the outside, sixth by three. Prince of Reason is seventh. Along the inside, C. Songster in eighth position. Then a gap of six lengths to Ken Run. Little Current is between horses. And on the outside, Park Gar. On to the back stretch now, and Menocal has the lead by a length and a quarter. Chris Everett is now second, and on the outside, Accipiter ranges up. Those three now tightly bunched. Chris Everett up on the outside, back to challenge. Menocal on the rail. Accipiter is third by four lengths. TV newscaster is next, holding pattern between horses. Golden Murray is sixth on the outside. Then it's Prince of Reason, seventh. Sea Songster moves up on the rail, eighth. Little Current is ninth at this point, followed by Park Guard. Ken Run, 11th. Past the half-mile pole and to the far turn. Chris Everett leads by a length and a half. On the outside, Accipiter is second by a head, holding pattern third. Between horses, Prince of Reason boldly moves up into the fourth spot. On the outside, it's Golden Murr. Menocal dropping back. Coming to the quarter pole. Chris Everett has the lead by a head, holding pattern. Moving up on the outside with Prince of Reason, a closer third. 
They're into the stretch now. Chris Everett from between horses, holding pattern on the outside along the rail. Prince of Reason is next. Down the stretch they come on the outside, holding pattern from between horses. Chris Everett coming on again. It's holding pattern in front by one. Chris Everett is second, and here comes Little Curran on the outside, holding pattern with Little Curran coming on. Here's the finish. Holding pattern holds on and wins it by a head. But ducking Mike Maselli aboard.